Hi, my name is Casey. We're back for our Wednesday workouts. Uh, this week, we're going to kind of progress from last week. Uh, this first set, we're going to need no weights at all. Just going to do our body weight warm up here. Uh, we'll, uh, first, we'll do our hip openers. We're going to go into a high plank stance and work on just getting the hip mobility ready for the larger lifts during the workout. So, we're going to high plank stance. Uh, we're going to alternate sides, left and right. Our main goal is to get our hips opened and uh, looser after two, two rounds here. We'll do a total of 10 per side. We'll start with our hands under our shoulders to make sure we're not too far forward or too far back. We'll go into a high plank stance. And make sure as you bring your leg forward, you have your toe always facing the direction your hands are. That shouldn't be out to the side or flop over. Always have toes facing forward. So we're gonna exhale and bring our uh, foot over next to our hands. Kind of sit and rest in that uh, stretch. We're gonna inhale, we'll then change legs. That will be one, one there. Now make sure uh, when we do alternate, you keep pressure on that back one as well. We have that foot roll backwards over to the inside. Keep that toe planted, pressure on both sides. We'll keep alternating through. That's two down. Remember to keep on breathing. You inhale as you go back, exhale as you go forward as you settle into the stretch. Side here. All right. So that will be our hip openers there. We'll next start out next with our uh, plank limb extension. So we're going to go into a low or high plank. I'm going to go into a low plank. A high, uh, high plank a little bit easier. You want to do a high plank the first time through, and then a low plank the next time through. You can do that too. Working mainly here on our uh, hamstrings. Uh, shoulders and serratus to get it warmed up for the larger lifts in our workout. So I'm going to go into a low plank stance. Have our shoulders uh, over our elbows, not too far forward or back again. We'll start back here. I'm going to go a total of 10, uh, 10 per limb. I'm going to start out with my arms first. That's more of a challenge. And then always do your non-dominant side, then dominant side. So I'm going to go left. Uh, I'm going to go clockwise with my motion here. So I'm going to go in my plank stance. Shoulders are set. I'm going to go into my raise, arms, leg, and leg. Exhale as you lift each limb. Inhale, back down. Two. Three. Get a good hold on each limb and make sure each muscle group you're intending to use is firing. Hand too, make sure to not rock back and forth too much. Keep your chest square to the ground. Yeah. All right, last one each here. Now with that, if you feel it in your lower back, uh, you might want to try to keep your back flatter or not have your leg go as high when you're raising up off the ground. Uh, but if that was easy on your hands, drop down to your elbows. Definitely more of a challenge for the core and for the shoulders too. Trying to stabilize and keep your chest square on the ground. We'll go back then to our hip openers here, another 10 per side. We're going to go with my right leg, left leg again first here, step around, change sides, take your hands. Under our shoulders, shoulders set, nice tall chest. And last 10 here, last time through. As you get tired, your hands kind of inch forward as you go back. It's only natural. You can keep your chest tall. Over your, over your hands. Don't let the hands creep forward too much. And keep that chest nice and nice and square to the ground. Not too much movement there. This you should feel mainly in the inner thigh, glutes, lower back, maybe some of the calves too. Oh, nice. 
That was the last round there. I'm gonna go for three rounds you can to get more warmed up. I'm gonna right into my plank with extensions again. I'm gonna go the same uh, rotation left uh, clockwise. This is a way to keep count of my reps. Do the same thing again here. Go we'll back at our hands or your elbows. Shoulder sets. Now feet more narrow, more of a challenge. Feet wider, a little easier. Now it's just doing your set two. Another 10 per, per limb here. Hips down. All right, so that's going to be our first, our first round of uh, warming up. The next round, we have another one up there too of two rounds for our next circuit. Uh, might need some weights, we have weights, if not, body weight works as, as well too. All right, our next circuit here is gonna be our uh, ab crossovers with the push-up if you need to make more of a challenge, or just the ab crossovers. And we're gonna also add, if you have a weight, you can add a weight here too, or our storks, or one leg deadlift. We'll get into that after we do our ab here first. So, with the ab crossovers, we're gonna work on mainly the core, uh, hip, hip flexors, adding the push up, that's more chest, serratus, upper back, one, two. But we're working mainly again, we're going to be in a high plank stance and a push up stance. Uh, we're going to make sure we use our core to draw our leg up. We're not going to have our hip flexor doing the work. So I'll show you the do's and don'ts here. So have our arms nice and wide for a push up. If not, uh, have your arms within your shoulders there. Uh, we're going to come back into a push up stance, shoulders set. Now for a, our ab uh, crisscross here, you want to have your leg collapse and just do this. That's all hip, all hip flexor. Make sure when you do, you're trying to get your knee to your elbow and really utilize that core to get that extra, extra couple inches to get the core and less, uh, less hips too. So after that, I'm going to add a push up after each motion there. I'm going to go a total of 10 each there. So uh, inhale as you go out, exhale as you touch your knee to your elbow, and inhale again, exhale, do a little push up. So I'm going to do 10 total here. We're gonna go two total rounds. So I'm gonna go uh, left, right, that's one, two, three, four, Complete set there. If I just wanted to just do the uh, crisscrosses with the abs, we can do up to 15 20 reps. Just make sure it's not more for cardio, it's more for the core. Working mainly on that uh, contraction for core. Not a mountain climber, not trying to go for reps as fast as we can. Working on uh, quality over over quantity there. This one here next are our low plank deadlift or our storks. This can be body weights, uh, it can be a bent ball with handles, it can be a small dumbbell. Uh, I'm going to use 20 pounds for our first round. Uh, it could be as low as 10 pounds, 5 pounds, or whatever you have at home works. We're going to work that mainly use a little bit of balance. Again, hip warm up here, uh, glutes, and hamstrings too. So, what we'll do is we're going to go, whichever leg is stationary on the ground, is going to be the leg that's going to be uh, moving with the hand. So, my goal is to have my right hand with the dumbbell. I'm going to reach for my left, my left leg. So, I'm going to come down. Now make sure as you go, we don't twist the body left and right. You want to keep your body square as you can to the floor. Okay, nice tall chest, shoulders pinch. Inhale down, exhale back up. I'm going to pull through your heels. I'm going to come back in here. 
free hands either on your hip or out to the side, whichever you feel more comfortable. I'm going to go off my hip personally, so I'm going to go back, keep my feet, my feet set, nice tall chest, hips engaged. I'm going to go to my right hand to the toe, that's one, inhale down, exhale back up, two, try and keep that back leg straight and counterbalance the motion. Now, death flies you have to go as far down as you possibly can. Uh, if your low back is getting kind of sore, just kind of hold up at where it feels the best. You should feel that mainly in the hamstring, glutes, and hips too. Might be a really good stretch, should be a pretty good uh, contraction too. I'm going to go now with the right leg facing the camera. So I'm going to change hands. It's going to be left, left leg to right to the right arm. So the same thing here again. Inhale down, exhale back up. Nice tall, tall chest. Shoulder set. You should be aligned with your uh, shoulders, no wider or more narrow. All right, so that's going to be a total of 12 per side there. We'll go back to our ab crisscross push up again. So back to our high, high plank. Either just abs here or abs push up too. It'll be your last time through. Another 10 per side. Right, that's 10 there. We're just gonna be doing two, two rounds here. So I'm gonna go up uh, 10 pounds for my uh, storks here, or deadlifts. You can stay the same weight, keep the same amount of reps, or if your the weight's too light, just add more reps. I'm gonna stay around 12 and try to do 30 pounds. Uh, my last set, my right leg is more of a challenge. I'm gonna do that leg first, give all my attention and energy first, and then do the easier leg afterwards. So I'm gonna grab my dumbbells here, Same thing here again, nice tall chest, this time right leg first, hips engaged, nice tight core, inhale down, and exhale again, back back up, and opposite hand, opposite hand to leg here too.
down to the uh, to the window or to a hand railing or a pole if you can too. Uh, but if you can, try to as many as you possibly can without any balance help or do, let's say half with no help and the rest half with, uh, with help. So we'll go round two with this round again. Your last time through for the hamstrings. We'll give it all we got last time, last set. All right, that completes that uh, circuit. So again, that was more in and work with the hip flexors with our, with our crisscross and wise. Uh, the shoulders and chest warmed up too. That will be our last warm up set before we go to a working set. The next set, uh, our circuit will be more weight based. And we're going to do three different sets. So if you have weights, get those set. If not, no problem at all. You can still work with light weights here or body weights here. For our next set, if you have a uh, band, it might be useful. Uh, if the band's too much uh, tension or don't have a band, no problem. Uh, body weight works as well, too. Uh, I have 30 pound dumbbells for our curl press and also a 20 pound uh, dumbbell for my tricep kick pads. Uh, we're going to go through three times. Uh, if you don't have the weights that are um, tough enough for the rough range I'm going to be using, you can use whatever weights you want and reps you want to use, too. Just make sure it's challenged or lessen the break between the workouts keep the intensity higher too. So, for our first set, we're gonna go with our, um, our shuffle back and forth. Now, distance-wise, you can be as far as you want. I have as far as the video will show. I'm gonna go as far as I can. I'm gonna go down and back three times to get my hips warmed up and get more of the glutes and hamstrings going too. So, I'm gonna put uh, this band uh, just above, or sorry, just below my knees. Uh, we want to make sure we're not sitting upright, so make sure we have a nice athletic stance. Uh, so we don't want to make sure we come in too close to the band to be uh, uh, loose. Always keep the band taut. So we're going to stay in a nice athletic stance, push the knees outward, don't let the knees fall back in, release it out. So we're going to shuffle back and forth there, push up the heels, feet, make sure we're not pointing outward, make sure the pain uh, wherever your uh, uh, knees are facing too. So I'm going to go to here, I'm going to go down and back to that same point three times. Uh, keep your hips engaged to where you're looking. They shouldn't be popped out this way, like this. Keep the hips forward, be on, uh, on your heels. You can go mainly in the glutes, hamstrings, obviously quads to be in a squat stance, but definitely should be hips here for sure. So that's two for me there. I'm gonna go one more time through. We are gonna go three times, so don't go too far. All right, that's three complete sets there. After this, we're going to go to our triceps. I have a bench here. You can't put my arm on. If you have a chair or a bench as well, too, you can too. If you have no bench, that's fine. We can go just with the core, stabilize. Make sure the weight's going to be um, the right weight for the lower back, not be going back, back and forth, trying to stabilize. Our main goal here is to do the triceps. So make sure we have our shoulder set. Our elbow should not move from this point here. We're going to force the arm back. Should not be going back and forth. It's going to help the tricep uh, lock out. So we'll start facing the camera here. We're going to keep our palm always neutral. The hand on the bench should be underneath your shoulder. Shoulder set again too. We're going to go feet even. Arm should be here. I'm going to exhale and bring my arm up. Exhale, inhale down. Exhale. We're going to go full of 12 here. Done a lot. People will have too heavy a weight, 
and they'll come here and they'll try and toss it up. You want to just use, use the tricep. So whatever way you use the tricep with, is the way to worry about the weight as much as before. So again, nice tall chest, keep your shoulder locked. And drive the uh, pinky up. Two, three, four, So for our curl press, you can do a couple of different variations. I'm going to do my kneeling, make it more of a challenge. Um, things that you've done along with the, uh, the curl press, again, we're not trying to maximize the weight curling here. So you don't want to go from this point, trying to swing up. The hips should not buckle like a deadlift or a clean and press. We're just going to go with uh, keeping the hips straight. Toes should be not dug in, but planted on the ground and keep your hips again straight again there too. Now when we do press, we want to press out this way. Make sure you press straight up, push your chest through, exhale, and inhale as you go back, back down. I'm going to go both arms at the same time. I'm going to aim for a total of 10. We're going to keep our neutral grip too. Neutral meaning the palms will always be facing each other as you up and you go back down too. Also known as a hammer grip strength for our curls. So I'm going to go ahead and get here, get, get set. I'll face the camera here, so nice tall chest, back in line, I'm going to curl, elbows staying tight, I'm going to press through, one, two, Now those there, sometimes the uh, curls will be a limiting factor when you can press. You can press much more than you can curl, but um, we did the triceps first to kind of pre-fatigue our shoulder press to keep the weight somewhat at bay with our curls. So it should be very similar. The last three there were definitely a challenge in terms of they got heavy quick. So you need to adjust the weight or adjust the amount. We have two more rounds here. So we're back to our band and shuffles. Toss our bands back on. Now the curl press, you can also do standing. You can do one knee, do one dumbbell, do one arm at, at, at a time. You can also do uh, split stance. Curl press and curl, and press there. A little more stability with the floor and lower back there too. Or you can do it seated on a bench as well too. Kneeling, so it's much more of a core workout and a full body thrust as, as opposed to just the biceps or the shoulders. All right, round two again here, just below the knee, athletic stance, knees out wide, force the knees out, go down and back three times. One. Stay low, keep on breathing, force those knees outward, make those glutes work. Last set here, last round. If you do a body weight there, you can do as much as you want. You can go five times down and down the back, three times down and back, whatever you feel comfortable with. But go until you feel a good burn, and you feel the glutes are working, and the hips as well too. We'll go back to our triceps here again. I'm going to go my left arm first, my weaker arm, and shoulder set, nice tall chest, exhale up, inhale down. For the dominant side, we'll switch. We'll go back again, shoulder set, elbow and line, hand line our shoulder. 
Make sure it's just to 90 here too. If you want to go all the way back down, just to 90 degrees. Back to our curl press again. I'm going to aim for that 8 to 10 range. This time I'll face the camera to get more of the uh, frontal view here. Same thing. Now, if you feel your form is getting kind of sloppy, call it quits there or drop the weight. Finish your set. If it gets to 7 to that form, do 3 more with 15 less pounds, 10 less pounds, 5 less pounds. You want to get to that certain number of uh, reps. Our last round of our shuffle here in the circuit. All right. Last round here. That little shuffles. Okay. Last time through. Back to our tries. Last round. Both per side. Last set. Arm set underneath the shoulder. Working arm at 90 degrees. Last slow. Inhale down. Exhale up. Three. Four. short of 10 reps, that's fine. I'm not sure if I'll make it this time through based on form, but uh, do the best try here. All right, toes on the ground, hips engaged, nice tall chest. Last rep, exhale, inhale, exhale,
last one, you're gonna form. Ten. All right. That was the final round for our triples, kickbacks, and our uh, curl press. So from there, we'll also use weights for our next set too. So keep the weights close by. Need a little breather or some water, grab hold. Our next round will be three sets of three workouts go to. Overhead lunges with a step back. So we're working on with these three are a little more core with each movement. Uh, kind of finish off the body after our workouts. So adjust the weights accordingly so that it's going to be not too much for uh, any muscle parts that are weaker or tired than the workout itself. We're going to start out with our windmills. The windmill, uh, make sure your hips stay square to the ground, uh, feet wider, easier, feet narrower, and be more of a challenge. Uh, we're going to start, I'm going to do 15 pounds. This one's not going to be a major uh, weight movement. It's more about just the uh, upper shoulder, um, lats, uh, serratus again, and more just core and breathing lines here too. So I'll show you the form there. I'm going to go eight, per, uh, eight for every movement per side. A little less reps, a little bit faster uh, time-wise in between sets here. So I'll look back a little bit later. I'm going to go into my uh, windmill stance here. This is one dumbbell for the windmill stance. Take a plank, I'm going to go up into an upward plank. Here I'm going to have either my shoulders, you can hand under your shoulders. I'm going to exhale and do a pull to a push all in one movement. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to pull, push, get that arm in line with my other arm, and then come back down. So I'm going to inhale, exhale, keep my hips square to the ground. Row of breaths, that's two. Three. Really keep pressure on that bottom arm. Keep that chest square. You want to swirl over the plate this way. Back to now is a overhead lunge. So we'll work on here, shoulder stability. I'm going to try 30, see how it feels. We might drop down to 20, depending on how the rest we're on it. But our main goal here is shoulder stability. Your shoulder will sit up above the head. It's not going to move. You can keep your hands uh, neutral to uh, keep it again in this fashion there. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to do my uh, Non-dominant arm first. Non-dominant arm means we're going to be using the opposite leg to drive up and down. So I'm going to go left arm. That means my left leg is going to be moving. So I'm going to go back and do a stance here. Nice tall chest, hand and a hip. I'm going to go back into a lunge. My knee drive, inhale, go back, exhale, back up, knee per side. Fisher too, with the uh, overhead part there, when you go down, your knee is 
not go over your toe, like so. Get that knee back, push, push off that heel. That's in the front. Grab some water here quick. After that one, we're going to go into our running in rows here. Similar stance to the windmills. We're just going to keep our chest square the ground. Two dumbbells here. I'm going to go with uh, two point five dumbbells. Again, pull first, the non dominant, and then go dominant. For me, left and right. Again, legs, I would say if you can, keep them about shoulder width apart. When inhale down, exhale back up. The key here is that keep your chest square to the ground. We're not breaking up the elbow, have that arm pull the elbow to the back. Keep a string attached to your elbow and to your back. Have the elbow be pulled by your back, not by your bicep. I'm going to go neutral grip, keep pressure on the bottom arm to keep things level two. So, go eight per side here. Nice tight core. Sides, dominant side two. If you're doing it in your lower back, lessen the weight, or even just your body weight, you can see if it's the weight issue. If not, you can drop down to your hands or your feet too and do the dragonfly we did last week, as opposed to this one. This would be a progression in a harder, harder direction here. All right, we'll change sides. We'll get set, toes set in the ground, hips square.
down there. Water quick or get some more running game rows. All right. Around two here. Go to front view. Back to more 20 pound weights. Again, non dominant first and then dominant. Keep pressure on both hands as you push down and pull up. It's like a scissoring effect. Keep that body in synergy. You don't want to move around too much. Okay, turn around here. Non-dominant, then dominant. Right, that way it's done, we just need it again. We'll go back to our lunges. All right, final rounds here. Get that down this side first. We'll then work on our, not down the leg. So left arm, left leg moving. Nice tall chest. Spine stay straight. From there, last set for our renegade rows. Okay, last time through, non dominant side first. Right. 
this workout. Now, if you need to adjust the sets, go through twice for the last two workouts. If you can too. I try and squeeze in as I can in hours, so it's gonna fall in that range. Do, it, do what you can, work on your form, work, work on the core, and each week you need to try to add more, more, more value. Hope you enjoy the workout. Thanks.